Hello guys. Uh, we have heard when we have heard that people say um, don't judge me because you are not God or only God can judge me or the famous quote do not judge a, a book with its cover. What does it mean when people say these kind of words or these kind of phrases? Does it mean that um, we are offended by their misjudgments or does it mean that it is just too painful to accept the reality that their judgment to us are all true does God really not allowed us to judge other people blessed day everyone my name is Andre Olasiman and we are here again for another healthy spiritual reminder inspired by God's holy words Today, we will be talking about three things. Um, first is, what does the Bible say about judging others? Second, are we not allowed to judge other people? And third, how does God judge us? In Matthew chapter 7, verses 1 to 5, God says, Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite! First take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eyes. In this verse, God is clearly telling us that do not judge or you too will be judged. But sometimes we are just too focused on a single verse, not, not reading or understanding the whole content of that message. In this message, God is actually telling us that um, we are not allowed to judge other people if our lives is also full of mess. God says here, Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? So people are always seeing the mistakes of other people, not looking back of their own mistakes. People are always seeing the sins of other people, not realizing that they too are, are, are sinners right god says how can you say to your brother let me take the speck out of your eye when all the time there is a plank in your own eye god is telling us that how can you tell a person that you are wrong if you yourself is doing the same mistake for example um i would tell you that stop drinking alcoholic drinks because um, it will only damage your liver but at the same time, you can see me drinking alcoholic drinks. So it is not effective. It is not an effective way to teach people to tell them that they are wrong. If they can see me, I'm also doing the same thing. So that is basically telling us that before we judge other people, um, you must make sure that you are clean, that you are not to be blamed of anything. It's not a good example. It's not a good way to teach a person um, what is wrong from right if you yourself is also doing the same mistakes so God says you hypocrite first take the plank out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eyes so God is telling us that first you must clean yourself you must first repent for your sins you must change your life for example me um, before I also go to wild parties and I also go um, drink alcoholic drinks but glory to God um, as I grow spiritually as I grow deeper in my spiritual relationship with Jesus Christ um, God set me free from all of those kinds of vices so now I believe I am um, I have the privilege from God to tell you that it's wrong <laughs> to drink alcoholic drinks because it will um, cause damage in your in your health it's not good for the health right it's even in the cigarette packs it it warns us that um, using these kinds of cigarettes will cause lung cancer and if you're a pregnant woman it will also 
um, affect your baby in your womb on your in your womb right but still people will just disregard those kinds of warning because they don't care people are sometimes um, too judgmental because of the physical appearance and could easily utter words that could hurt those people that they have that they have misjudged right but let us not to be too judgy to those judgmental person let us also talk um, what's the reason why they are judging us it's normal for us to think wrong if for example in a church if some if a woman goes inside a church and only wears mini skirts and wears clothes that shows a lot of skin so um, people will judge her that she is the devil <laughs> trying to tempt their husbands, their boyfriend, or even um, trying to deceive or trying to distract the priest or preacher from preaching the word of God, right? And also, it, it's normal for children to think of a lady who are not taking care of her physical appearance, who look already like a, a witch. <laughs> so, children will misjudge her because of her not taking good care of her physical appearance so um, there's a reason why people also judge us so we also have to ask ourselves why are why are they judging me is it because the way I dress the way I talk the way I live my life so there are reasons so let's not be too judgy to those judgmental people so in this verse God is teaching us that before we judge people uh, make sure that your life is blameless that your life is clean um, for example a pastor or a, a priest preaching about or teaching the congregation about taking care of the family um, first he must show that he is taking care of his family right before he is able to teach other family how to take care of their own family so it's, it will never be effective if you are teaching how to take care of your family but those people who listen to your teaching will clearly see in your life that you are not doing what you are preaching. You will just become a stumbling block to them. In conclusion, um, in this verse, God is allowing us to judge people but before you do that, Make sure that you're also clean and blameless before you teach other people. Make sure that your life is, um, that they cannot see something wrong in your life. Which also answers our second questions. Are we not allowed to judge other people? God says in John chapter 7 verse 24, Do not judge according to the appearance, but judge with the right judgment so god is actually telling us that we are allowed to judge people but do it righteously i praise god for the life of our pastor dante gabi because he taught me or he teaches us about two types of criticism criticism or two types of judgment there is a, a constructive criticism and destructive criticism when you say constructive criticism, it you are criticizing other people but you are actually constructing the person. It means that um, you are trying to help the person change their life from doing these bad things into, into doing good things. If you see a person um, drinking alcoholic drinks or if you see a person smoking so you tell them that um, if you do these things it will cause damage to your health and it will not only affect you but it also affect your family and friends so by doing these things by suggesting to them by teaching them you are actually you are actually helping them to, to live a healthy life, right? That's a constructive criticism. You are not judging them and putting them down. Now, the destructive criticism is you are destroying a person. It's like I'm telling you that you are a sinner and you are going to hell. So, I'm actually destroying you. 
I'm not I'm not helping you. I'm just just wanting to push you down. I just want you to to make you feel bad. So that's a destructive criticism. God is telling us that um, we should not be um, judging others by hurting them, hurting their feelings, by putting them down, but to teach them in a correct way, in a way that they will not be, they will not get hurt, or they will not get discouraged. Before we criticize a person, make sure that you are trying to help the person, not destroying them. For example, if you see your family or friend doing something wrong, so um, first you talk to them personally. Um, ask them um, what's wrong, why are you doing this, what's behind the story. Um, then it's like building a relationship with that person. If you have already that relationship, then he or she can freely open to you about her life, about her situation or his situation. Then that's the time you can, um, you can suggest, um, you can help them by telling them what to do right and especially if you're telling them according to the word of god now we move on to our third and last question how does god judge us i know that you might think that the judgment day is the coming back is the second coming back of jesus christ where he will judge the living and the dead right um, which stated also in the bible but did you know that god already um, re re revealed in the bible also that he already we already know his judgment even if we are still living did you know that so let us read in uh, john chapter 3 verse 18 god says whoever believes in him jesus christ is not condemned but whoever does not believe stands condemned already because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. The key word in that verse is believe. You have to believe in Jesus Christ in order for us not to be condemned, right? In order for us not to be judged by God. So when you hear the word believe, it is not actually a simple word. It is actually a complex word at the same time or if I would say it's a tricky word. Why? Because um, when you say the word believe, it actually implies an action whatever you believe you follow right people would think that they believe Jesus Christ but they don't know who is Jesus Christ what does Jesus Christ wants in their life why do we need Jesus Christ in our lives why do we need to believe him as the Son of God in my understanding we are actually not believing we are just saying the word believe we believe you lord but by heart and by truth truthfully we are not believing in jesus christ as our lord and savior in tagalog we are just saying this sanguso not hindi sa puso you really have to believe in jesus christ as your lord and savior if you truly believe in him then you will also follow his will in your lives god says or jesus christ says in john 14 6 i am the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father except through me through jesus christ so if if we say that we believe in jesus christ if we truly believe that jesus christ is the way then why are we not following his way why are we still obeying or following our own ways if we truly believe that jesus christ is the truth then why are we still keep listening to other people's opinion or what other people says why are we not reading the bible which is the word of god in john 1 1 in the beginning is the word the word was with god and the word was god so the bible itself is jesus christ or god himself talking directly to us if we truly believe that jesus christ is the truth then we should be reading the word of god which is the bible because he is the truth and if we do really believe that jesus christ is the life then why are we not living in accordance to his will 
why are we not living in the life that he wants us to live as i have seen most of us are living in a life in a rebellious way by living in sin now i'm not judging you i am simply a messenger of god and whatever i am sharing here is rooted in god's holy words and if god is touching your heart if god is talking to you right now i believe um this is not a judgment day for you this is not um, god judging us that we are sinners but really god is always reminding us that he loves us that he wants us to see the reality in our lives that we really need to change our lives that we really need to believe in jesus christ as our lord and savior because we can never go to heaven without him in our lives we can never go to heaven on our own works we need jesus christ in our lives because he saved us he died for us john 3 16 he died for us for our sins i'm telling you these things it's as if i'm already judging you right but but no i'm just a messenger of god and i'm just sharing god's holy words which is rooted in the bible in order for us to know the truth because god says in john 8 32 if you know the truth the truth shall set us free and who is the truth jesus christ is the truth the way and the life i'm not telling you that i am a perfect person i'm a perfect christian i'm still a human being i still commit sin but by the grace of god god always reminds me to ask for forgiveness as god says in first john 1 9 that if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive all of our sins and cleanse us from all of our unrighteousness so by the grace of god i remain clean because i ask for forgiveness i strive hard because i'm still in my flesh i'm still we are still in this earth where um, it is filled with temptations, filled with um, moralities. So we are weak in this kind of world. From time to time, we still commit sins. But God is faithful in our lives. If we only confess our sins to Him, He will immediately forgive us. As He said in His word in 1 John 1, 9. At the same time, God says in Philippians 2, 12 that, Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling see so in my life i am continuing to do god's will um, as much as possible i really do his will in my life with fear and trembling um, because that's what god wants us to do i'm sharing this um, to encourage you to 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 accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior because really um, you have to believe in, in his words that we can never enter heaven without him in our lives we really need to believe not only believing by words but you have to believe in your heart truthfully at the same time with actions so that means you have to read the bible and whatever the bible says his commandments you also need to follow glory to god i hope and pray that you have received um, today's god's holy words and be able to apply it in our own lives and also be able to share this to our family and friends now as a summary um, we have tackled three things what does the bible say about judging others so god says that we are allowed to judge other people but before we do so you have to make sure that your life is also clean your your life is blameless second are we not allowed to judge other people no we are allowed to judge people but do it um, righteously meaning you have to criticize them by constructing them by helping them um, what is right from wrong and teaching them how to correct um, their mistakes third how does god judge us god judge us in what we believe because whatever we believe we follow right so if we believe in jesus christ as our lord and savior then we follow him what his will in our lives and by know and how to know his will by reading the holy words of god by reading the bible we will be able to know god's wills will 
in our glory to God we have finished again another healthy spiritual reminder uh, inspired by God's holy words if God has touched your hearts through this video um, please subscribe to this channel that God has entrusted me and please also like and share to your family and friends if you have any questions about God's holy words um, feel free to comment down below and if you want to request a prayer feel free also to, to comment down below and I would also like to inform you that um, I do not respond to any comments that would lead to debate. The purpose of this video or channel is to share God's holy words, to remind us about um, His words in the Bible, not to use His words for debate. Thank you for watching and I pray that God will bless your life and your family and keep you safe all the time in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you and God bless.